guys, RC here. Welcome back. Draft Day Sports College Basketball. This is episode five for our college basketball vlog with GM Games. So check those guys out. Also jump over to my channel. Check out my stuff that's going on. And uh, we both, GM Games and myself, thank you for visiting our channels, watching our videos, and supporting both of us. Hope you guys are liking what you're seeing. I look forward to reading comments each and every episode. Uh, so, reach down there and do all that. Subscribe to both channels and uh, thumbs up to you for doing that. All right, so last episode, we ended up the season. We had a great season in our first year here at Northwestern State. And we have gone through the selection show. We did lose in the second round of the conference tournament last episode. But we're going to the NITs. So we're going to the number two tournament. Woo! And we're playing East Tennessee State to get things started. So let's hop over. And we want to go... I think what we want to do here is we just want to go to Games Grid for our conference, right? So, not sure. There we are. So, we are going to sim to date. And you know how this works. I don't watch the results because we've had a good season with me playing stupid. So, uh, you guys don't watch either. We'll be right back when this is done. All right, that was a quick turnaround. I have not seen the score. Let's go back a day. Oh, well, one and done. One and done. Still, we went dancing. You know, our first postseason appearance, we were down 16 at the break. We showed some heart coming back and outscoring them in the second half. 11 points for Eli. But nobody else scored. Three of ten shooting, including one of seven for Walls. And you know he is the engine that makes our team go. Eight points for Mitchell and Tucker off the bench. But uh, we only shot 35%. And uh, that is not going to cut it. Also, they uh, had ten more foul attempts and shot 65%. Which is not a good percentage, but it still ended up plus four in that category. And 32 points for their two guard, 12 of 22 shooting for Dion Plowman. So we are eliminated. So let's see. How did we do this last year? I, I don't remember. Let's see. I think we focused on the NCAA tournament. Yes. And basically what we did is we went through here one round at a time. So we've got... Greensboro in the east, Chicago in the midwest, Austin in the south, and Boise out west. So let's, uh, yeah, let's, what I'm going to do is just, I'm going to pause the recording, <clears throat> get through one round, come back and show you guys the results, and then we'll step through like that till the end of the tournament. So hang in there. All right, real quick uh, before we go, I did get that uh, JavaScript error, the same one we got last year in the postseason about the data tables warning. So I've got to make a note to, uh, I took a picture of the screen with the error. Uh, I don't, but it didn't cause us an issue. I don't know what it's causing, but anyway, I'm going to report it to, uh, to the guys over at Wolverine. But here is the uh, NCAA tournament after the first round. So uh, West Virginia advanced. Let's see, we've got the one seed is through. Louisville, the two seed. Tennessee, the three seed. The four seed went down. We had a 4-12 upset as Texas El Paso beat Michigan State. Go UTEP. Mighty Miners taking out Sparty. And you know why I'm happy about that. Go blue, baby. Go blue. <laughs> Don't like Sparty very much. Uh, in fact, there's only one team I dislike more than Sparty. You guys know who that is. Uh, anyway, what else we got? Let's see. 512 went through. 98. The Catamounts went down. Uh, looks like a 107 upset. Mild upset. And uh, that's the only thing there. What about Chicago? 
Uh, we had one, two, three, and four. So chalk went through. Uh, let's see, nine over eight, ten over seven. And we had an 11 6 upset. Kent State getting past BYU. Uh, one, two, three, and four. So chalk went through in the south. We had an eight, nine win. Four, five, three, six. So we had a 10, seven mild upset. 20 points though, Minnesota. And let's see, one, two, three, and four. Chalk through in the first round in the west. Creighton, North Carolina State. All right, we had a 6-11 upset, Virginia Commonwealth, the Rams, VCU getting past San Diego State, and yeah, that team beat Auburn, so hopefully Oregon can take care of that problem in the second round. We'll be right back. All right, so the Sweet 16 has been decided, Virginia, West Virginia and Duke advance uh, in Greensboro, as does Louisville, Tennessee, so almost chalk. Of course, Michigan State wasn't there to be chalk, so Duke fills in more than handily, taking care of business by 33 points over the Miners, ending their Cinderella story. Over in Chicago in the Midwest, we have complete chalk, Kansas, Georgetown, Gonzaga, and Purdue. In the South, it's also, well, almost chalk. Cincinnati loses to Oklahoma, uh, so that's a five in there. Not a huge deal. And holy crap, somebody do something about that team, please. You know, that team down south. Let's do something about that. Because it's O-H, oh no. <laughs> Don't let them win. I'm, I'm going to have to end the series if they win. We just, I won't be able to play anymore. I'll probably smash my computer. Don't let them win. Uh, NC State gets past Florida, and we had an 11-3 shocker and a 10-2 shocker in that region on that whole side of the bracket. So there's a bracket buster for you out in Boise in the Western Regional. And now the Elite Eight has been decided. Over in the East, it's West Virginia and Louisville chalk advancing with solid wins. Uh, it was a close win, Louisville, Tennessee. West Virginia handled Duke by 27 28, 28 points. I had to do math for a second. Kansas and Georgetown, top two advance in the Midwest. Over in Austin in the South, it's Kentucky and Virginia, the top two. And in Boise, VCU, thank God, my new favorite team. Well, you know, at least the team that I'll root for. Cinderella story alive and well into the Elite Eight as they take care of Ohio State. And NC State shocks Marquette. So we could have a big shocker here. Jim Valvano, hey, hey. If you guys don't know who Jim Valvano is, first off, shame on you. I'm going to shake my finger at you. Shame on you. Seriously, if you don't know who Jim Valvano is, you need to do a couple of things. And you owe it to yourself. First off, go look up the Jim Valvano SB speech. Okay? Do that. And I want to know if you cried or not. Okay? And I want the honest truth because... Every time I see that, I tear up. Then I want you to go look up Phi Slamma Jamma. No, not Phi Slamma. That was Houston. Um, wow. They didn't have a name. But just look up NC State National Title. And watch the highlights. Watch the last shot of that game. Again, if you're a college basketball fan... You owe it to yourself to know these two things. Jim Valvano, SB speech, and NC State, 83 national title, final shot of the game. If you don't watch anything else, watch the final minute of the game. You'll thank me later, I swear. And look, I know I said five slamma jamma, that is University of Houston, but God damn, that team was good. Go watch some highlights from them too, and I don't get paid for any of that, so just go watch it because it's cool. Man, and they were good. Hakeem Olajuwon, Clyde the Glide Drexler, get you some of that. All right, so what's going to happen here? I don't know. But let's come back and find out when we get to the, um, what are we going to be doing here? The final four maybe or something like that? We'll see. We'll be right back. All right, we're down to the final four, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. Over in the east. 
is that? Oh, it's time to give myself my shot. My drugs. Drugs! It's not real drugs. It is drugs, but it's not that kind of drugs. I'm diabetic, so I have to give myself an injection every weekend. That was the alarm for that. Sorry, but no, nothing, nothing what you're thinking about. We're not going, you know, we're not going um, all Motley Crue on you here. Um, I hate needles anyway, so I couldn't do that. Uh, yeah, all right, West Virginia loses to Louisville. Louisville heading to the Final Four out of the East in the Midwest. It is Georgetown getting past Kansas, and they will be the second participant coming out of the Midwest. Down in the South, we have Kentucky getting past Virginia. And the surprise region, the West, what happened over there? Inquiring minds want to know. A one-point win in Virginia Commonwealth. VCU continues to dance. Cinderella is alive and well. How's that song go? Cinderella kissed a fella. Something like that. I don't know. I heard it once. I think my daughter was listening to it, and it stuck because... Anyway, final four. Let's go ahead and play these out. What's going to happen? Texas San Antonio. Uh, let's see. Let's go back here. Bobby Mercer. Come on. This is complicated, and it keeps switching. Why? Why does it keep switching? Come on. Come on. There we go. Holy shites. Wow. Did anybody see that one coming? Could we have a Cinderella national champion this year? That would be insane. Kentucky loses by 10 to VCU. And Louisville crushes Georgetown 98-72. Wow. Come on, VCU. You guys are pulling for VCU, right? I mean, we've got to be pulling for VCU. Come on. Ooh, well, all right. You know, reality check time. Louisville cuts down the nets. But what a run for the Rams. Holy cow. All right, let's check our alerts. Uh, award winners. We can go do that. Inbox. Uh, da, da, da. We had some more home visits. Ooh, some things hit home. You're in the running. I'm going to give you some consideration. And it wasn't worthwhile. So we had two out of three good visits. All right, let's uh, delete those. We're going to head over to the advance. Let's check <laughs> Should be able to hit the mouse button and click through. Proceed. We'll pretend that that is Stuart Scott because he is cooler than the other side of the pillow. All right. Um, continue. Oh, wait. Select award. No? Maybe? Hello? Nothing? No award. Continue. Did I just miss the awards? All right. I, I was clicking on the little drop down and nothing happened. Oh, that's brutal. Brutal. Oh, well. Oh, well. Into the season. So don't finish last. We succeeded. We'll be expecting more now. And win 10 or more games. Succeeded. Now let's do better next year. We do have some coaching jobs available. And uh, so do we go look at them? And can I look at the awards? History? Nope, not there. Almanac, maybe? Award winners, there we go. And we want to go... Thought it was 20, this would be 21, 22. Why can't we see that? 
Um, polls, media. I'm looking, guys. I'm looking. All right, here's the awards, maybe. Awards. Hello. End of the year. All right, that looks like players of the week. Freshman, national freshman of the week, national player of the week. Yeah, those aren't the awards. These are not the awards you're looking for. You guys got that one, right? I hope. I hope. All right, why can't I find the actual award winners? It's killing me. All right. Hit the advanced menu to go to the... All right, whatever. Whatever. All right. Don't really want to leave, but you know what? We just had a really good year, so we might get some interest. Head coach only. Whoa, probation. Shame on you guys. Horizon. Yeah, I don't think we go anywhere. I don't think we go anywhere. A little bit of prestige. Ooh, we go to Hawaii. I mean, nobody would turn down the Hawaii. Yeah, we we let's skip the round. I want to see what happens here. Riders now in. UC Davis is in. All right, they're still looking. So yeah, okay. That's I was just I was wondering. You know, you know, you, you start having the dominoes fall, right? Okay, well there we go. So we do have a couple. South Carolina upstate i mean they're you know south carolina is such a long state it's got an upstate i didn't know that and i used to live in north carolina of course that was north carolina i don't know anything about south carolina except that uh you know coach spurrier coached there for a little while and he was not as good as he was at florida all right well i'm not going to take a job so let's get out of here and that'll be a short episode but a lot of exciting stuff. I missed the awards. I couldn't figure out how to make it work. We need to look at our incoming team. We do need to do that. All right, another coach, another visit. They're happy. Staff hiring. Delete the emails. We got an alert. All right, so let's take a look at our staff. Haven't gotten an email about a bigger budget. I thought his face was blurred out for a second. It kind of was, but it's like he's in the witness protection program. All right, he's got one year left. Everybody's got one year left, except for me. I've got three years left. And look at that. We're closing in on a 500 career record, boys and girls. That's awesome. All right. I think we're going to just keep rolling with what we got here. So let's advance out of this. And we are in April. So we're going to finish and advance. I want to see how the recruiting went. And then I really haven't seen any feedback from you guys on the AI or me doing the recruiting myself. Personally, I, I'm if as long as the AI is doing a decent job of bringing in talent, I don't have an issue with the AI doing it. Because again, this is this is a guest vlog, and I'm certainly not trying to put a subpar product out there. And I don't think GM Games would say that these are subpar by any stretch. But you know, I do need to cut corners somewhere to make you know fit it into my agenda. So that's kind of where we go. All right, let's see. Today is your opportunity to petition. Check your inbox. Okay, this is where I screwed up last time, the first year, and we deleted this. So we don't want to delete this. Check your inbox where you can make the request. And I don't think there's a way to avoid doing this. Um, let's... Let's increase the budget. Maybe we can afford better assistance, a little more recruiting, get some better players. They're thinking about it, evidently. 
I bet they told me no, though. They're like, yeah, yeah, you went 24 and 8, but do it again and we'll think about it, right? Uh, let's see, another campus visit. Not good. Oh, they told me to go to hell. Come on. I just went 24 and 8. Boo. All right, delete all the emails. Final day of the year. Let's look at key dates. Have we signed all the players yet? Today is the late letter of intent. All right, so let's look at our recruits. Recruiting is not available. All right, roster, maybe? Hello? Did we lose? No, nope. Phelan is still there. These guys were redshirted, remember? They were transfer guys, I think. So they're coming in next year. Oh, so we're going to have a couple of good players coming in. Sweet. We do lose a couple of three and a half, a three and a half star, three and a half star. But honestly, I think we return most of our, I mean, we'll have walls coming back. I'm going to have to figure out my point guard because remember, Phelan was our point guard. He was the better ball handler. Walls is a better scorer. So we may go with Borman next year or maybe Bachman. Maybe Bachman. I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, I don't see I don't see the freshman in here. Oh, in fact, in fact, Phelan Walls, Eli Bickerstaff. Bickerstaff. All right, let's back up here. Is he in this list? There he is. So he'll be back. So I don't see any of the freshmen yet, right? And I can't look at the recruit players. So we are going to have to advance to end the season. And then that's going to be the first thing we're going to do. Hmm. So after I finish recording this episode, which after we look at the team, that'll be the end of this episode. Next episode, we'll jump into the beginning of the season and start simming out games. But I'm going to go back and double check the last three episodes, make sure I haven't missed any comments because I don't look every day or even weekly, but I do go look. And then uh, Chris normally lets me know if there's anything really pressing in them. But I want to go make sure I haven't missed any comments. But unless anybody has any major issues, I'm going to keep going with the AI. But I do want to see, I'm, I'm going to reserve judgment on that until we know for sure how well they actually recruited. I know we had seven scholarships this year. And they only were going to, it looked like they were only going to sign three or four players. But I think that was a smart thing to do. Spread those scholarships to where you weren't having a seven scholarship year like every four years. You know, that would be a pain in the butt. Well, the troubling thing is I only see one freshman. I only see one freshman. Now, I do remember the last time that I did that first season at Navy that I did the recruiting. We didn't sign anybody in the late window. We, I mean, I was after people all the way up to the end, and I don't think we signed anybody. So I'm a little troubled here. All right, these guys are out one more day. That's fine. All right, alerts. All right, you know what? I think game options. I'm going to turn that off. That's off. That's off. Actually, CPU manage. No, we're going to keep that. Job pressure. Auto save. What is fast simulation? I don't know, but I'm going to turn it on. Oh, 
So that way it still goes. I ah, got you. So slow would go slow. You could watch every game, the score. That would take forever. The slow simulation on human games when we're going through and then it pauses on your game. That's that. Fast simulation will just blow through your game. And being that I'm not looking anyway, I'm going to go with that, that option there. All right. So we are going to. But we turned that off, so I'm going to do the recruiting. Yeah, I'm not happy about that. I don't think they did a bad job last year, but let's see. Are we going to skip the summer? That's going to be a no. Purchase, scheduling, basketball, budget, and recruiting class. All right, so let's see here. Let's scroll. Who had number one? Georgetown, Kansas, Purdue. Wow. Where's Michigan? VCU number 24. Michigan got snaked by the butt eyes, man, by one spot. That's disappointing. All right. Where are we? I'm looking. I think we're in blue, if I remember correctly. It has been a whole season. And we only got one player, so I'm betting we're down towards the bottom, and we are. So number 329. That's that's disappointing so i'm gonna do the recruiting but i think i'm gonna do that all off camera each episode so that way you know it doesn't bog us down but uh yeah all right so we're, we're not gonna skip the summer uh purchase click the advance okay and we are we're in louisiana i remember so we're in the southeast region. So I'm going to get the basic. We don't have the money to do the gold star. Not yet. And... What does the AI suggest? That's what they suggest. Just the southeast. So that sounds like a plan to me. Do I want the, uh, do we want to go after some international players maybe? Probably not. All right, we'll advance past that. Well, that was an exciting season. I mean, we, we did really well as a team. I don't think we're going to do as good this year, and we didn't bring in players. So let's see, we got two walk-ons as juniors. Everybody else is on scholarship. Uh, let's see. Let's check out our one freshman, Walsh Stewart. So he's a five inside, six five outside, four five free throws. He's going to be able to pass the ball decently well. He's a he's a power forward. He's going to be a solid rebounder if he develops. Can't play defense. All right, so, you know, eh, 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 New Deal, Texas. Well, New Deal looks same as the old deals, just not as good. So, we have got, all right, what's going on here? Practice. All right, so practice. Practice? We talk about practice, man. We talk about practice. I mean, we talk about practice, man. Practice plan. There we go. So, Shuffle, Princeton, Flex. Man to man. I think. Let's drop this one to 15. Let's raise the Princeton to 10. Let's do that for this year. And we're going to save those changes. Remember, make sure you click save or they will not lock in. What was the other alert? Recruiting. Yes, we'll do that. Inbox. Budget. Players transferring. None. Ooh, transfer session. No, we are going to do that. All right. Hold that thought.
Okay, we bought our scouting reports. We did that. All right, so we're going to delete these, and then we're going to advance. Let's see. We might we might look at some transfers. All right, do we have anybody with? Ooh, hello, top five interest. But they suck. And they're all small forwards. What's up with that? I do have a seven foot one dude from England. Oh, I can't see his stuff, man. Can't see his stuff. So how do I judge here? How do I judge? Seven foot one, 304 pounds. That dude's a beast. Now he went to Green Bay. He's transferring out of Green Bay. He's got a 2.8. We're in his top 10. He hadn't played much at all. I mean, nobody's played much at all. I got a 6'8 small forward. All right. I don't know. If we call these guys... So I can see some ratings. Why not the other ones? Okay, I don't know. Let's go ahead and contact this dude. And you know what? Eh, he's a junior. Let's look at this small forward. And then, by God, it cost us $100 to contact. That's okay. I'm going to hit these two, and I can't do any more. Or I've already done him, possibly. Yes. All right, so let's look at him and him. And I don't know. He's there. Let's look at him anyway. I don't care. All right. Uh, when you were for the session, for the session, if we contact him, does it tell us anything at all? Anything. So he's got an eight. Wait, where's our... Oh, we don't know anything about him. This guy's a small forward. He's got an eight outside. Average free throws. No defense, man. No defense. Passing and handling is a 3-4 with a good outside shot. All right. I'm going to... I'm going to advance the day here, I guess. Maybe. I wonder if I should be doing the other recruiting at the same time, or does it, I hope, God, did I miss a whole day? What happened? Where did everything go? All right, first off, recruit players. Okay, so we're not in that recruiting, good. All right. Training session, all right, advance. I've got a bunch of contacts. Ratings, did we get ratings on any of these guys? Maybe. Yes, we did, yes. <sighs> all right, all right, so we're going to contact, and then, my God. All right, well, let's figure out what we're going to do here. All right, can anybody play freaking defense? You can. So guess what? You can shoot outside. You can pass. You can board. Oh, that was a block. My bad. My bad. All right, you can play better defense. You can shoot equally. All right, you know what? Damn, Skippy. We're going to offer you a scholarship. We've contacted you. Four, six, three, eight. But that's a small forward. Do we have any passing, handling? I don't know. Let's sort by assists. All right, you know what? I'm going to contact a bunch of these guys. Now, if they transfer, they can't play till next year. 
But if they're not already on our team, they can't play till next year anyway. So, you know. All right, let's look at rebounds per game. By the way, where's... Where's that dude from England? Eh? Where'd he go? Where did that dude go? Sinners. I see the dude from the Greek freak. Poland? Not going to make a joke there. There he is, England. So he's got low interest in us now. Seven inside, four outside. No defense. But God dog, that dude's seven foot. You know what? I'm going to offer that dude a scholarship. Just on principle. And 6'10", I'm going to offer that dude a scholarship too. All right. So we've made a few calls. We've offered a few scholarships. We'll see what they tell us. I have no idea how this transfer business works. Might be a big waste of time. Just might be. All right, Frank Flores. Ooh, he's coming. Steve Sims is coming. Glenn Harris, the big center from England, is coming. And look at all the frick. Oh, that's all the players that transferred this week. I bet we're in that list. There we are. All right, let's go look at one more. We've only got one scholarship left. You know what? I feel stupid because that was the four. And I think we've, we we want to save that and actually recruit somebody this year, right? I think that's how this works. Pretty sure. Pretty sure. Yeah, you know what? We're going to advance when you're finished. All right, we'll advance. There's got to be a way once you're done to go ahead and just skip out of that, right? I'm just suspecting as much. All right, players transferring. You can also click the skip sessions button. Oh, here we go. Skip sessions. There we go. So no more transfers for us. We're done. We are finito with that. So we had three players that are going to transfer in. So, I mean, that's a way, you know, if you can't recruit well, you could always go and work the transfer market. That would be an option. I think I went overboard. I think I dropped the ball. A little... Bumble Ruski there, wrong sport, right analogy. We're processing, processing, processing. All right, let's see what has transpired. All right, so players transferring. We didn't go after any more. We are going to have a summer travel schedule. Great. Um, all right, so we're going to delete that. We're going to advance here. We are going to go to the Memphis Let's see, let's AI suggest. Why would I do that? I'm not buying those. I guess, eh, eh. You know what, I'm gonna save this money. I'll go to the one in Houston. But before, oh well, I guess we do have to advance. More processing. Be right back. And now the episode is running long, but that's okay. All right, emails. We had a pro draft. Dodson. Dodson. Wasn't that the guy's name in Jurassic Park? 
the first one. Remember he met the the heavy set guy that turned out to be the bad guy that got got eat spoiler it got eaten by the dinosaur. Um, remember he met with that guy at the very beginning and then made the deal. Wasn't the guy he met named Dodson? I think so. All right. Uh, let's see. Anybody in there we recognize? Not really. None of our players. Damn, that sucks. All right, we're going to delete that. Recruiting does begin, so that's good. Again, I will do that off camera. And all your... Da, da, da. Okay, that's good. Let's check our uh, roster. All right, so we do have these dudes now. All right, so Flores and Harris. They're going to be some decent inside shooters, and Flores could actually step out. Uh, rebounding is going to be a little uh, defense. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have signed those guys, but I want. God damn, I wanted the seven foot one, three hundred and four pound English dude because he might be the only one in existence. I don't think English people get to be seven foot one. I mean, you, we've heard of the Greek freak, but I don't think we've ever heard of the Yorkshire, whatever. I don't know. But yeah, they don't get that big, I don't think. Dude's massive. And he's, you know, he's got some potential. So we'll see what happens with him. All right. I'm going to jump into recruiting. I will come back at the beginning of the regular season. We will go over what happened in recruiting. And if we've signed anybody, we will then at that point go over our depth chart. Uh, and uh, we'll set our strategy we'll start playing some basketball guys hit that like button for me subscribe again gm games and my channel raging cajun 77346 subscribe on both of them hit the little bell so you get the notifications for updates when new stuff comes out i've got daily content on my channel the basketball videos here coming out twice a week on wednesdays and saturdays hope you guys are looking forward to those episodes We'll see you next time. Bye.